Hey guys, this is Victor with HTC One Soft Monitor. Today I'm going to show you how to control your computer from your HTC One. Of course, this works for any Android phone, but we're going to download TeamViewer from TeamViewer.com and install it. You can use other programs. There is uh, Log Me In and Splash Top Two HD, but TeamViewer is the only free one, and it's what I use. Okay, we're going to select install to control this computer later from remote. You don't have to, but this lets you create a TeamViewer account and add all your computers to it. So you can have a, always a list of your computers and control whichever one you want from your phone or from any other computer if you log in. Choose personal and I like to show advanced settings in case there's any toolbars or adware that it tries to install. For example, I don't need this Outlook add-in, so I'm going to disable it. And click finish and it will install. It takes a minute. Okay, now for setting up unattended access, if you click next, it'll let you name your computer and create a password for it so you can add it to your TeamViewer account that I mentioned earlier. For this tutorial though, we're just going to use the ID and password. You can change the password if it becomes compromised, but that's it for now. Let's switch to the phone. Okay, now we need to download the TeamViewer app on the phone. So search for TeamViewer. And download it. This is actually a bigger download than the one for the computer. Okay, when it's done, open it. Skip the little tutorial. Okay, and here you type in the TeamView ID from your computer which is that nine digit number. And it'll ask you for a password. That is also on the team viewer program on your computer. It'll take a minute to connect. It tells you what kind of gestures you can use. So for now, continue. And it'll show you a cursor. As you can see, I can control my computer. You can open a new tab and go to a different website but it's just like if you're using a mouse, there's settings for, you can press windows or control out delete or things like that. Bring up a keyboard. But that's pretty much it. It's a really, really easy way to access your computer, especially if you create a TeamViewer account and log in remotely. And you can have, like I mentioned before, all of your computers on your TeamViewer account so you can connect to them from your phone or from any other computer. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to SoftModder. And if you need more details such as download links 
they'll be on the full tutorial on HTC One Soft Modder. Thanks for watching.